Uh, here's our second treasure, by the way. Ooh. A crushed pop can. Indeed. It's pretty epic. Oh, yeah. Pretty valuable. Indeed. It probably will be because it's the vegan metal. Mm -hmm. Though there are some things you're just like, what the devil? <laughs> 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 when it comes to the price. Yeah. So. Excellent. I'll show you what we got here. 170. Ooh. Utter scrap. <laughs> 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 well, even the ship knows. Indeed. <laughs> Yeah, you can see Louie and Alamar working together to mm -hmm. pick the boys. Yep. Oh, did I leave that one bullboard behind? I think I had enough picks to carry him. Well, that's fine. There's This is another day where there's only a finite amount of things you can do. Yeah. It's still somewhat tutorial-y. Yeah. I'll put that many. Actually, I'll just max it out so they get back quick. And I put the rest of the boys on this. I forget if you could. I don't think you could do this in the first game, but there's uh, walls like this where you can put. Was it? Hmm? No, I think you could. There, there were walls in the first game like this, right? Where you yeah. had to knock down. Yeah. Yeah. Because <clears throat> I know there was the bomb walls in one. Mm hmm. But yeah, there were the normal walls in uh, yep. one as well. Mm hmm. There are new ones. In this. Oh, game, yeah? Like though. what? Are they surprises? Yeah, sure. Ah. I mean, they're not much of a surprise. Really. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of them kind of is, though you've played Smash, so you know of all the Pikmin. <laughs> yeah. Though there's actually one type of Pikmin from Pikmin 3 that uh, Alamar doesn't use in Smash. Oh, there's actually a, a type of Pikmin that, and from this game that he doesn't use in Smash. Ooh. That I've actually been really excited to introduce you to. Excellent. Because it's my favorite type, actually. Um, I feel like you've told me about them. Was it Rock Pikmin or something? No, those are in three. Okay. I do like Rock Pikmin, but they're just really not as good as uh, Purple Pikmin generally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, how could they do this? They're such evil people. I don't know. I'll see if I can pull off a speedrunning strip. Coming up here. Mm -hmm. Press the swarm. Yes, I know. I swarm. Probably should have paid attention and learned how to lock on because I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, a uh, rock Pikmin actually are. Uh, I don't know. I can't say that I don't. I like a uh, purple that the rock ones are useless. Yeah. Because uh, the nice thing about them is uh, that they can't get smashed. So those Wallywogs in Pikmin 1 uh -huh. that I absolutely despise. Yeah, because you would lose so many Pikmin to them. Yeah. In uh, 3, they're just a meme because you can just take all rock Pikmin and just slap them around. Yeah. So that's amazing. Mm -hmm. But pur purple Pikmin definitely are the most broken Pikmin type yeah. of, in all the games. Uh -huh. So and Smash too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Indeed. They're definitely true to, true to form yep. and smash with them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They might. I don't know. It's hard to say which one is my favorite, actually. Mm -hmm. I think the mystery type is my favorite in this game. The mystery. Mm. That's not what they're called. I'm just calling them that. Yeah. So yeah. Not spoil. Uh -huh. I actually do have models of them, but I haven't added them up there in case you ever noticed them. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're hiding them from me this whole time. Yes. So this is a new mechanic. Holes. <laughs> mm. So this is a spoiler. There's those four little holes at the top. Those are hazards, so it tells you, it's just a convenience thing to tell you what hazards are in the hole. The okay. ship will sense for you, so there's no hazards, so it doesn't okay. matter what type you take in. Uh. So the thing about holes is that uh, the daytime does not progress within. Ooh. So you can... Just waste as much time as you want. Indeed. But they're, and they're randomly generated, too. Oh, so that's interesting. So that'll make a playthrough of this pretty interesting, I suppose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make them very stressful at times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's one cave I'm not looking forward to at all. <laughs> Excellent. Um, but yeah, a lot of the caves go pretty quick if you know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So, because they're uh, they're floor based and the floors are generally pretty small, and you, usually if you know what you're doing, you can 100% the floors uh, your first try. Yeah. So that you won't require backtracking. Uh -huh. So we got these boys. Are they? Uh... The same species as the other, um... Ah, uh, yes. Just 
snow camel versions or so since we won't be reading the whole beast theory of course <laughs> um i will be telling you the lore i think would be a cool thing to do yeah for sure so uh i think i told you this before these are called uh or the normal ones are called uh dwarf bulborbs right and these are a d different species but they're they mimic the bulborbs right, right yeah they're actually of the bread bug species right quenching emblem yep seven up uh-huh so um since uh, I guess not much of a spoiler to say that the normal bulbor variant of these uh, has hair, and the okay. the bread bugs can't mimic it the hair. Right. So that's part of the kind of lore behind it. Mm -hmm. But the ones that have hair, they have hair because they live in the cold, and yeah, then the coloring kind of goes with it. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of explanation behind these is that they just kind of change colors to mimic them, but they didn't actually get the the useful part of it. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> And that cutscene was just the ship complaining, being like, the heck are you putting dead bodies in me for? Because <laughs> those don't go towards the completion at all. Yeah. Um, so, but they are worth a minimal amount. And mm. I think in 100% playthroughs, I mean, in uh, any percent playthroughs, it's interest lump. Um, indeed. You can... Uh, I love citrus lumps. Indeed. It was somewhat suggestive. Indeed. <laughs> But the dead bodies can help in the any percents, I think, because okay. it lets you skip like an item or two. Uh. I usually just collect them because you're waiting for your Pikmin to carry back the treasure anyway. So. Yeah, yeah. So you might as well. And it adds to your count too, because the beast area also tells you how many you've killed, how many have, how many Pikmin they've killed, mm -hmm. and how many, how much total money you've gained from killing them. Yeah. So. Just lots of cool stats and stuff. Mm, yep, 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 yep. And in the beast area too, actually, you get a pet of each one that you can feed. Oh. And that was my favorite part as a kid because I would just go in there and feed them pick pick carrots like yeah. a ton. Uh huh. So, here's a, a thing. A thing. Is it a meme? <gasps> See how Ooh, it glinted? Indeed. That means it's an upgrade item. Upgrade. So there's certain items that will help you upgrade either your captains or your arsenal, your map, so on and so forth. That young upgrade. Exactly. So this is a map upgrade, I assume. Yeah. And the story behind it is there's a there's a chip inside of it ah. that has a corrupted map, but he's able to salvage. Mm. So you might have caught, or not caught, he said there, but. 101? How could yeah, we. I, def I definitely didn't catch what he said there. Yes. How could we ever. Ca it's basically, how could we ever ca carry something that requires 101 Pikmin if we can mm. only ever have 100 Pikmin? I wonder mm. if there's a type of Pikmin. That's stronger than the others? Yes. Mm. Probably not. No, definitely not. It's probably not. just useless. Yeah. 